Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for September 26th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day. Help. If you are as seriously alcoholic as we were, we believe there is no middle-of-the-road solution. We were in a position where life was becoming impossible, and if we had passed into the region from which there is no return through human aid, we had but two alternatives. One was to go on to the bitter end, blotting out the consciousness of our intolerable situation as best we could, and the other to accept spiritual help. This we did because we honestly wanted to and were willing to make the effort. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 25 to 26. Thought to consider. The spiritual life is not a theory. We have to live it. AA acronyms. Sponsor. Sober person offering newcomers suggestions on recovery. Just for today, suspend our own argument from being grateful. For some reason, we spent a lot of time thinking or noting or talking about how wrong or mistaken so many other people persistently were. Whether they really were or not is irrelevant to the welcome change in our own feelings now. For some, the change begins with a tentative willingness to wait and see, to accept for a moment the hypothesis that the other person just possibly might be right. Before rushing to judgment, we suspend our own argument, listen carefully, and watch for the outcome. Living Sober, pages 48 to 49. Daily Reflections, Our Children. The alcoholics may find it hard to reestablish friendly relations with his children. In time, they will see that he is a new man, and in their own way, they will let him know it. From that point on, progress will be rapid. Marvelous results often follow such a reunion. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 134. While on the road to recovery, I received a gift that could not be purchased. It was a card from my son in college saying, Dad, you can't imagine how glad I am that everything is okay. Happy birthday. I love you. My son had told me that he loved me before. It had been during the previous Christmas holidays when he said to me while crying, Dad, I love you. Can't you see what you are doing to yourself? I couldn't. Choked with emotion, I had cried. But this time, when I received my son's card, my tears were of joy, not desperation. As Bill sees it, the fellowship's future It seems proved that AA can stand on its own feet anywhere and under any conditions. It has outgrown any dependence it might once have had upon the personalities or efforts of a few of the older members like me. New, able, and vigorous people keep coming to the surface, turning up where they are needed. Besides, AA has reached enough spiritual maturity to know that its final dependence is upon God, Letter 1940. Clearly, our first duty to AA's future is to maintain in full strength what we have now. Only the most vigilant caretaking can assure this. Never should we be lulled into complacent self-satisfaction by the wide acclaim and success that are everywhere ours. This is the subtle temptation which could render us stagnant today, perchance disintegrate us tomorrow. We have always rallied to meet and transcend failure and crisis. Problems have been our stimulants. How well, though, shall we be able to meet the problems of success? AA Today, page 106. Big book quote. Perhaps there is a better way. We think so, for we are now on a different basis, the basis of trusting and relying upon God. We trust infinite God rather than our finite selves. We are in the world to play the role he assigns. 
just to the extent that we do as we think he would have us and humbly rely on him, does he enable us to match calamity with serenity. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, How It Works, page 68. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Continuing the consideration of the term spiritual experience, the acquiring of an immediate and overwhelming God consciousness resulting in a dramatic transformation, though frequent, is by no means the rule. Most of our spiritual experiences are of the educational variety, and they develop slowly over a period of time. Quite often, friends of newcomers are aware of the differences long before they are themselves they finally realize that they have undergone a profound alteration in their reaction to life and that such a change could hardly have been brought about by themselves alone. Is my outlook on life changing for the better? Meditation for the day. Look at the world as your father's house. Think of all the people you meet as guests in your father's house to be treated with love and consideration. Look at yourself as a servant in your father's house, as a servant of all. Think of no work as beneath you. Be ever ready to do all you can for others who need your help. There is gladness in God's service. There is much satisfaction in serving the highest that you know. Express your love for God in service to all who are living with you in your father's house. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may serve others out of gratitude to God. I pray that my work may be a small repayment for His grace so freely given me. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.